We are a disease that is infecting our planet. From the atmosphere to the abyssal zone, we are polluted. It is a known fact that the great garbage patch floating in the Pacific is larger, larger than the country of France. Even at the depths of the Mariana Trench, we are discovering nanoplastics. Delegates, I ask you now, do we still stand in unity for this cause? Do you intend to honor the commitments for a better man, betterment of mankind? Or will you continue to chase short-term profits above our children's basic human rights to live on this earth? Change cannot come in 2050 or 2030 or even 2025. The change must come today. We can no longer afford the luxury of half-assing it as we willingly force ourselves beyond the threshold of no return. As a human species, we need the earth to, to survive. But make, make no mistake, the earth doesn't need us. We are demanding global unity for a global crisis to once again bring harmony between mankind and the natural balance of our world. We must right the wrongs we have done against our children and grandchildren because we are gifting them with a world that suffers from our irresponsible stewardship. I leave you with an island proverb that states, He va'a, he moku. He moku, he va'a. These words teach us that all land, no matter how big or small, floats on the ocean like a canoe in the middle of the sea and that our planet is nothing more than an island floating amongst an ocean of stars. Life on a floating vessel has limited resources. It requires strict conservation practices and carefully planned navigation to ensure survival. We must work together as a global community to best steer our canoe in the right direction, the direction of a healthy and abundant future on Earth that we call home. Please join us, the Samoa Pathway, and unified commitment to protect and heal the planet. This is for all of us. Aloha. Kukiai Mona!